Hey, I'm Shira Lazar. Welcome to What's Trending live from South by Southwest Interactive. We are live from the Blogger Lounge, Samsung Blogger Lounge in Austin, Texas. Mm. And I'm with Shay Carl. How's it going, everybody? I yeah. was just asking Shira, because we've had like 12 of these <laughs> interviews. Yeah. Where was it? We were Never at All enough. Things D in New York, and I started the interview with a towel on my head. I just you remember that. those details. I remember every detail of our interaction, Shira. Well, I remember you when you were how many pounds heavier? Eight hundred pounds. Eight hundred pounds. You're I was two hundred and eighty-two pounds a year and a half ago. Two Can years ago. Can you believe ago. that? How Look how handsome that? I am now. Come on, give him a round of applause. That's, that's Thank you. Takes a so much work. It is. Commitments. I mean, everybody comes up like, "What's the secret?" I was like, "I worked my ass off." That's literally. Wait, that's it. all you need. Hard work, exercise, vegetables, lots of water. It but, sucks, yeah. but it's. It's better when you take your shirt off. It's inspired so many people, yeah. yeah. I was just going to say. You want me to take my shirt no, off? No, no okay. Don't. It's I fine. Won't. Let's okay, keep thanks. this appropriate. But <laughs> also then, besides your weight, you know, how, how things have changed for you. I remember when I first interviewed you at Maker Studios. You're one of the founding members. Um, and, and it was just a room and a bathroom right. and a studio. Yeah. And now it has how many employees? 350 employees. 350 employees. Yeah. Uh, you've pioneered the model, uh, uh, the network model on YouTube. Uh, you just raised over $30 million, you're really legitimizing this space for so many people. Uh, and, and so how have you seen that evolution happen? Because it happened pretty quickly. Yeah, really, it's over the last three years. Yeah. I mean, you know, Maker Studios was founded three years ago, and already, just like all that stuff you mentioned, there's already 350 employees with, you know, health benefits and 401k, and that's something that we never imagined. You know, when we got together, it was initially just like, it'll be easier to make YouTube videos if we have other YouTubers helping make YouTube videos, and now it's blown up into an entire media company where I can do whatever I want. I have a cartoon coming out. I have an animated series. I have merchandise. I'm working on a documentary. So because of that, you know, YouTube audience that's grown into what it is, and then with the help of Maker Studios, we're able to do whatever we want to create, you know, as creators. Do you consider yourself an entrepreneur now? Totally. Well, I mean, I've always been an entrepreneur. That's why I started doing this, because I hated working for somebody else. Like, yeah. if, if I could motivate anybody to anything, it's just like you can do what you want to do and you don't have to do it on somebody else's terms. Like I hated that I had a boss that could tell me when I could spend time with my kids and family. So throughout, you know, even before I ever knew what YouTube was, I had my own granite countertop business and I, you know, was a real estate agent, which is kind of like your you own business. You've had so many lives. I've lived lots of You're lives. Like many cat lives. A lot of wives. I've had so many lives. wives. <laughs> <laughs> Wives and lives. That's the name of the game. A lot of uh, recent things have happened. You raised over $200,000 on Indiegogo or yes. Kickstarter. Indiegogo, yeah. Indiegogo, yeah. Um, which is incredible for a documentary right. that you're doing about, it, I think it stemmed from the Shay, your story in the Shaytards, uh, which are basically, he vlogged, how many, for three years daily? Four, Shira. Four? Four. Why do I know these I'm in, I'm in year five now. I'm on day kidding? three of year five of making a vlog every single day. Isn't that yeah. amazing? That is just... Yeah. Amazing, but that's how you also build your community. Totally, Because you have to commit totally. to it daily. Yeah, every single day. No, the uh, Indiegogo experience was crazy. We had over 5,400 uh, donators, and we raised $204,000 to make this documentary. We already have shot, you know, like a couple days worth of, of footage. And uh, it's been interesting, you know, sitting down and, you know, kind of going over the whole story. I interviewed our seven-year-old daughter the other day, and just to hear you know, her perspective of this whole thing and hearing some of the things she was, we were asking her about YouTube and what YouTube was. And she said, oh, I asked her like, what's different between TV and YouTube? Mm -hmm. And it was interesting to see her concept. She said to the camera and like right as she said, I'm like, that's going in the documentary. But she said, TV is just in your local area, just like where you are. But the internet is everywhere and computers can do anything is what she said. I'm like, that's so true. So it's, uh, it's basically this, the documentary is going to be the story of not only how this became my job, but how this became hundreds of people's yeah. jobs. You know, a lot of people don't know that you can make money on YouTube. And uh, we want to tell and that story. It still is unbelievable now, even though I feel like we've come so far in this space, that people will be like, oh, yeah, right. You really make money? Come on. Right. Yeah. How do you, I mean, it's still like even today, you know, majority of people, everybody knows what YouTube is just because YouTube's everywhere. But to say to somebody like, what do you do for a living? It's like, I make YouTube videos. And they kind of give you that look like, well, how do you, what, and, and you know, you have to explain to them. So yeah, I kind of want to shed a light on this whole community of people who are creating content. Not only that you can make money on YouTube, but you can create anything you want, you know, any 
artistic idea, song, music video, tell a story, you know, movies, anything you want. You have the freedom of creation and there's nobody, there's no gatekeepers. Well, but things YouTube. are changing a lot in many ways um, with, you know, big companies coming in, mainstream companies, totally. celebrities. How do you think that's going to change the space and, and the landscape for people like you that were homegrown that started there? There's definitely growing pains in that aspect where it's like, you know, big companies and money start coming in. It's like, oh, they want to impose all this red tape and I hate red tape. And at Maker, you know, as a talent founded organization, we want to keep that alive. So, you know, all the founders are YouTube talent, you know, as me and Kasim and Lisa and yeah. Danny. And we realize that having that freedom is paramount. So we have fought really hard, even though Time Warner's come in and invested, you know, $40 million, we have really fought to stay on the board. So Danny is the CEO, the original, you know, you know, founder is, you know, still running the company. So we want to keep it like, f you know, talent first and not have to like go through all that red tape and just kind of just be an aid to help creators make whatever they want. Do you think, I mean, with the growth and the, um, you know, quick growth of this whole industry, where do you see it headed in around a year or so? I mean, we've been asking that question for the last, you know, five tell years. Tell me that. It's like, no. I'll tell you where we're going. But I feel Shira. like now it's exponential and like we're oh seeing yeah. it happen, like what we all kind of imagined. What's happened in the last five years will happen in the next 12 months. Yeah. You know, it, it's, it is. It's on this curve that's going to explode. And I feel like it's just a big meshing pot. I've kind of thought of it as it's going to be kind of like an a la carte experience where you can watch, you know, your favorite TV shows. You can, you know, watch uh, House of Cards and then, you know, King, whatever TV show and then a movie and then your favorite YouTube are all in the same spot, whether it's on your iPad, your mobile device, or even on TV with, you know, the Apple TVs and, you know, the s R Roku and all mm -hmm. those kind of things that are incorporating all this content together. It's not going to be just like TV, YouTube. I feel like it's just going to be all meshed together. And hopefully the work that you've done over the years, now you're, you know, you have a loyal fan base. So th when yep. they see the Shea Carl or Shea Tards app, they'll go to you just the right. same way they would go to another big network totally totally yeah it's it's all about you know and i feel lucky because i was ahead of the curve and that i you know was able to build an audience before because it's exploded now like a lot of people were always on these panels like yeah you can do whatever you want you can make money but it's not as easy anymore mm, like it's yeah. it's it's hard if i had to start all over again and lose all my subscribers and just knowing what i know now it would be really hard to replicate you know where i've come just you know because it's so hard to get in the space now all right two things people want to know because i saw it on twitter when they knew you were coming on. One was uh, for your perks for the documentary. Like what are the plans with the perks and stopping in different cities and everything? Yeah, we wanna, you know, we wanna make it as exclusive, I mean, as, as we wanna go everywhere. Like we're gonna, the film crew, we're, our next stop is at Playlist Live. We're going to Orlando. Yeah, we're gonna be at Playlist, Playlist Live. That's gonna be a huge experience. We're actually gonna have a like, oh, there's Grace. Hi, Daily Grace. I saw your Twitter. Don't tease the kids. Sorry, Daily Grace is on up next. Be sure to tune in. <laughs> um, but then we're going to do meet and greets, and then once the movie is made, we want to take it around and do kind of like film screenings all over. You know, we're going to go film in London, and then we'll be in Toronto. There's a, a film festival up there. And then at Maker, uh, we oh. have a connection with Tribeca, so we're going to try to premiere it at you Tribeca. You guys already have it. It's it's, it's, it's open. There's a lot of plans. Yeah, a lot of plans. And then, like, with the perks, like, my kids were going to draw some Picassos and send them out to people. That was one of the perks. You're pimping out your kids. Yeah, basically. <laughs> I, it's child labor. It's my favorite type of labor, child labor. It's so cheap, you know? <laughs> You're a good good father. Thank you. <laughs> and now another <laughs> Keep thing. Keep reminding <laughs> me of that. <laughs> Am I? Tell me. Reassure me. You are. Um, another thing people wanted to know is that you made an announcement you're going to stop your daily vlogs at the end of the year. What does that mean? Uh, oh, nothing. All obsessed. Uh, it means I'll make six videos a week instead of seven probably. Oh, yeah, God, it's, no. uh, I've, I've gotten to the point where, you know, we finally, and it's been a while, you know, it, we only initially planned on making a video every single day for yeah. one year. And at the end of the year, it was like, do another year year and then the end of the second year it's like do another year and how it's like four years do another year. I know it's like are you not sick of me yet and uh, so we decided that this will be the last year I figure five is a good round number we'll do five years of daily vlogging and then I'm gonna that'll open up a lot of my time to do more projects I have a cartoon coming out and uh, I, I want to do a web series with a guy that I'm friends with. Um, I better not announce that yet. But just I want to do a lot more oh. projects. So the daily vlogs take a lot of my time, yep. you know, because I want to, you know, I went to it. I had an editor do them for a while, and it just kind of loses some of the, 
the appeal or the closeness of yeah. it. So I like editing them and doing all that myself. And that's like it's six a hours of, of time out of my day every day. So once I am able to do less videos, I can, you know, work on more projects. Well, you'll be coming on our show again. And I'll be here 800 more times. And to break the news of who you're co-starring with. Yes. And all that fun stuff. Shay Carl, thank you so much for Thanks, joining Shira. us Appreciate at the it. Samsung Blogger Lounge. Check out his videos, youtube.com slash Shay Carl. Shaytar, that Shay Carl. Twitter. He is Facebook. everywhere.